My role in MSF is to provide maps and it's done in two ways. The first part is what we call base mapping or reference mapping and it's to provide an overview of where are the camps and what's inside. Where are the people, what are the infrastructure of the camp, if there is any. And then on the second hand, on the second part, to use these maps as a base to help the MSF team and support them in their decision process to place a clinic, a hospital, a water point, a latrine or any of these uh, means of support to people and to organize them in the proper place. The most difficult challenge we face uh, in this kind of setting is that camps, you see, they are not a, they are not a static thing. They, they live, they evolve like uh, human beings. More people are coming, some people are, uh, are leaving. Camps got extensions. Some of them have parts that get removed as, as people are moved away to formal camps. So we basically have to do and redo and do over and over again the same maps to keep providing an up-to-date picture. Yesterday, we were working in Adre, the closest spontaneous site from here, and we actually had to redo this map 24 times since the beginning of the crisis in early April. Drones are a powerful tool, and to some extent, uh, it has been used in, uh, in chat by MSF. But in some of the settings, some of the most sensitive ones where we need, where people need the most help, such as Adre, it's also a difficult and tricky to, to use because um, we don't want to fly drones over an area that is either militarized or an area where people are traumatized by uh, traces of uh, activities in the sky. If we had a magic wand, it's a difficult question. They, um, we do use a lot of satellite imagery or aerial view from uh, the settings we are working in. And to be honest, there are just never enough. It's, it's really difficult, even with the help of that tool, to, to maintain uh, an overview of the camp that is actually up to date. If by any kind of magic we could have access to a satellite imagery every morning, that'd definitely be amazing.